people want to come in and they don't necessarily want to spend a whole lot of time interacting with everybody, which, you know, there'll be some behaviors after this pandemic that will stick. If it's easier just to go in and uh, punch in a code and pull a pizza out of your heated locker, I think, that, I think we, we owe it to ourselves to take a look. Do you guys have like an innovation hub at the headquarters where you test some of these things? You know, it's uh, so Donatas was founded by my father-in-law, Jim Grody, 57 years ago. And you've written your publication. I don't know if you have written about Jim in the past. He is uh, an innovate. I think he, he was born as an inventor and an innovator. And uh, so he uh, he's still involved with the company and he opened across the parking lot here uh, state-of-the-art innovation center uh they're gosh I, I can't even keep up with them there's three or four different uh food technology businesses that cohabitate that space there's also a lot of young uh super smart engineers and, and uh, you know uh, interns who are working on rapid prototyping, uh, different ideas in the food service space. And Jim, Jim's there every day. He's, he's, you know, playing with different ideas. He knows the needs that Donato's has. Obviously, he has a vested interest. So he, you know, is continually working on different kinds of innovations through the Innovation Lab. It's really, yeah. a, it's, Sounds it's really he's an amazing person and it's an amazing situation. Sounds like a fun place, although I might have to sign some agreement if I ever get a tour of it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that, that's cloak of secrecy, I guess. <laughs> but Donato's gets to benefit from his curiosity, it sounds like. Sure. It's always been that way. You know, he, uh, I don't know if you know the story, but many years ago when he was running the pizza shops, he was frustrated because they were slicing pepperoni with a knife, and sometimes they'd slice them thin, sometimes they'd slice them thick, it, it really drove him crazy. And so in his mind, he invented a machine that would slice pepperoni sticks onto the pizza. He spent, you know, and he's not an engineer by education or trade even, but he's a, an imaginative mind and he worked on it, worked on it, worked on it. Didn't end up working for the restaurant industry, but it ended up working for the frozen pizza manufacturing industry. And he sold 10 of them, 10 of these machines called the Pepamatic. <laughs> I love it. Uh, <laughs> he sold them to uh, Tony's Pizza out in Kansas, and that started the beginning of a whole nother business. Is all, also across the lot called the Grody Manufacturing Company, where they make slicing and depositing equipment for the food uh, food manufacturing business. It's a it's a global brand that's you know got significant share in that category, and it all all came from his curious mind, and and it's it, it's as sharp as it ever was. I can ah. tell you that. Fantastic. Be sure to check out the whole interview at our website, nrn.com backslash extra hyphen serving.